tired of grinding your badges and playing my career, hit up Wish Grinders on Twitter or Instagram for the fastest and most legit badge grinding services. They are now taking next gen orders. The link will be in the description. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? <laughs> Yo, what's up to YouTube? It's your boy Fizz Bay, and it will be yet another video today. I'm coming to you guys with the best build in the game. Now, this is literally the best build in the game. This is my build for NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Now, when it comes to a lot of these builds, I've been seeing a lot of builds that get more badges. Now, those builds have holes. When it came to me making my build, not only did I want certain badge upgrades to be able to make my build the way I wanted to make it, I want to be able to reach requirements for certain badges so I could get certain badges to Hall of Fame on my build at 99 which we're gonna get into all in this video so yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to make my build even all the way down to the takeover i was different in a lot of things that i did when it came to making my build and then also you got to think about it i made this build towards me but in my opinion it has no holes so i don't understand why nobody else could use it you know what i'm saying so yeah without further ado man let's go ahead hop straight into it I got digital dash, came right with a art. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull out the lot. Got tiff in the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burned out the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. CC the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. When I look at the time of the EP, high, I ride through your block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitches say. Now, off rip, I'ma tell you this right now. For years and years, people have been saying that you can't make a KD build. But if there's ever been a KD build, this is going to be that build. Now, when it comes to the position for this build, you want to go at the power forward. Power forward is going to get you the most badges, the best position for any build in this game. Whether you're making a guard or a big man, it doesn't really matter. Next is going to be height, weight, wingspan. This is going to be pretty much like the new pie charts. Now, when it came to my height, weight, wingspan, I did this a lot different than a lot of people did. Now, when it came to everything from whatever height you wanted to choose, you only want to go six for seven for the way I'm making it. When it comes to the weight and wingspan, you can change that depending on how you want it. I went with the wingspan to make sure that I had a 92 driving up and a 91 three-pointer because depending on what three-pointer you go, you can't get yeah, stop and pop to Hall of Fame at 99. Or you can't get driving dunk high enough to be able to get posterizer Hall of Fame at 99. So I pretty much tried to make that perfectly so I could get both of those to Hall of Fame at 99. So I'm not gonna be able to get deep threes and stop and pop off rip at 99, but you know, I don't know what that even means at off rip at 99, but you know what I mean. I'm not gonna be able to get that off rip to Hall of Fame. At 99, I will. But when it came to the weight, now this is the most different thing. Most people, when they make these builds, they go minimum weight or they go a random weight. Mine, I went like this. I pretty much put it up higher to be able to get that higher interior defense and higher strength because we actually are upgrading both of those. We're not having a 25 interior defense. We're not having a 25 strength. We actually gonna have both of those. We care about that. So yeah, um, that's pretty much what I went with. And then when it came to the body type, that's completely up to you. So whatever you want to choose on that, go with it. All right, next. Now, I didn't go for badge upgrades, but I did end up getting 15, 18, 20, and 16. Now, I've, like I said, when it came to me making my build, if you watch my build tips, I was finding builds on builds on builds. So when it came to the high badge upgrades, I've been found a lot of these because I was tweaking through every position and all that to find my perfect build. Now, when it came to me finding my build, I actually tweaked it a couple times. I ended up getting more shooting, or I ended up getting more finishing, or I ended up getting this attribute. So, yeah, I pretty much tweaked it and tweaked it and tweaked it till I had it the perfect way that I wanted to get it to. So, when it came to a lot of these attributes, when it comes to these attributes, if you look at these certain badges, some badges aren't popping up. Some are. Some badges aren't popping up Hall of Fame. Some will be able to get to Hall of Fame if I want it. Now, that's depending on when I get to 99. We're going to get into that later. Now, when it came to the badge upgrades, I get 15, 18, 20, and 16. That's not bad by any way you can even try to say it is. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad at all. Then when it comes to the attributes. Now, when I say there's no holes, there's literally no holes. When it came to the steel, 
I literally still get steals on my build. No matter what I had on my build, I still get steals. I get a lot of passing lane steals. I get almost two steals a game off passing lanes. Poking ball lose steal with just a 25 steal. Now, is it gonna make you a lot better at that type of stuff if you have it upgrade? Yes. You're gonna be able to get interceptor. You're gonna be able to get pickpocket, yes. But like, if I can do it either way, and I can be able to do everything else, why not? Now, close shot, that's the only questionable hole that I have. But the only thing is, this is a guard build. I'm not gonna be doing standing layups. And even when I do standing layups, I make those. So that's not really an issue when it comes to a build like this. But the first thing I did when it came to make my build, I was having a problem getting the acceleration to be maxed on every single one of these builds. So when it came to making this build, I put the physicals up first. So if I had physicals that was going past 95, or 91, I just kept it at 91 because if you get gym rat badge and you reach 99, that's plus eight. You get plus eight to both of those, that's gonna be at 99. You don't go past 99. That's literally the benchmark. That's literally the top. You can't go past that. Then when it comes to the finishing attributes, we got max driving dunk, max driving layup, max post control, which a lot of people don't understand. You upgrade your post control, you're gonna get more badge upgrades. And when it comes to standing dunks, like I said, I don't do standing layups, so I obviously don't do standing dunks. So I don't really care about that. And post control is just gonna make my build that much more overpowered because I can literally just use the post if I want to now. And then when it comes to shooting, I have mid range, three pointer, then I got free throw. That might be the only real hole that I have. If I wanna play like wreck, I can't, if I get fouled, I'm missing. Now, the one thing I would say, the free throws in this game are actually kind of easy. So if you green it, it's going to be 100% every single time. You find the right free throw, you're going to green. So I'm not really too sure if that's really a hole yet. I have not been that good at shooting free throws so far. But when I do get greens, I've been getting it pretty much just like consistently. So yeah, three-pointer, I got that to a 91. Like I said, I'm not able to get deep threes and stopping pop to Hall of Fame. But when I reach 99, I get both of those Hall of Fame. Stay tuned. When it comes to the playmaking, this build gets Hall of Fame quick first step. With that being said, I get 20 badge upgrades. It does not show I get floor general, but when I reach 99, I actually be able to get that joint if I want it. Do I use that? No, if you missing, you know what I'm saying? You blocked, it's that simple. Oh no, you did it. No, you did it. Then when it comes to the defensive rebounding, I got pretty much everything on defensive rebounding. That's important to me and the way I'm gonna play with this build, max, not to a certain point to be able to reach badges, max. Perimeter defense, max, 95. Interior defense, max, 84. Block, max, 82. Now, when it came to the rebounding, I was gonna go with 76 and 56, but I actually, because I was gonna get to 60 and an 80 at 99, but I get that off rip, so why not just put it to that off rip and then get it to an 84 and a 64 off rip? So now I can get offers and rebounds decently and get defense rebounds really consistently. And I have 16 badge upgrades on defense. This is literally my building, what I think is the best build in the game. So yeah, if you guys wanna make it like this, you can, you can. Now tell me any other build that has no holes on physicals, arguably one hole on defense, arguably one hole on finishing, and maybe a hole on shooting, which I'm not gonna be playing rec and pro on that much, so I don't need free throw. So yeah, you tell me, you tell, you tell me. Now, when it comes to the takeover, now when it comes to the takeover, a lot of people are choosing finishing moves. Finishing moves is probably the best takeover in the game. I actually admitted this when I was going over my build tips. Now, takeovers I chose, I didn't choose, I don't think I've seen anyone actually choose easy blue lines. I think that's actually probably the most underrated one. You're gonna literally get a blow by automatically every time. So if some, if you just blow by somebody, what they're gonna do is they're gonna run as hard as they can to the rim. So you can do like a snatch, spin back, whatever you wanna do, get a wide open shot every single time of that, or you can get a wide open dunk every single time of that. You don't have to do no crazy move. As soon as you get takeover, you can just get instant points, instant buckets, it's that simple. Then we got limitless range. That's pretty much like how the old limitless range was. How range extender used to be, it's not like deep threes. It's gonna be helping you shoot deep twos, on the line threes, and deep threes. It's that simple. I wanted to have something that was very, very overpowered, so that's what I used. 
that simple. Now, would I say finishing moves is the best one? Yes. Ankle breaking shots, a good one? Yes. But this is what I chose. And then with the build comes out as a two-way scoring machine. I made over 100 builds. Half of them came out as two-way scoring machine. So I thought this build name was rare. But no, no, it's, it's probably the most, it's probably the, pretty much like the most popular build name you're gonna get. No matter how you make a build, you can make a build completely different. It's gonna most likely come out as a two-way scoring machine or a two-way threat. It's, it's just that simple. I don't really know what to say about that. But yeah, that's going to be that build. Let's go ahead and hop into the badge setup for this build. Now, this is where it gets interesting and a little funny, I can't lie. Now, when it comes to the badge setup, you have to test your build. Now, when it comes to testing your build, you can find a lot of stuff at 99. When it came to me trying to do this, I was trying to show you guys how to fix the glitch in my last video. All you gotta do is press pretty much continue, go to the next screen, back, back out, come back to this, upgrade it to 99. It wasn't even letting me go past 91. I never seen this one before. Never seen this one before. Now I've seen, even when I was doing this, I've gotten, I got the negative pretty much infinity, but I've never seen it literally just glitch out to the point where you can't do it at 91. If you test this build out, no matter how many times you try it, no matter how many times you try to fix for it, it's gonna not let you go past 91. So that build literally glitches out the My Player Builder every single time. So what I had to do to pretty much test out these builds was make it and just put one less, make it have one less badge upgrade on shooting and just lower down my free throw and it actually let me do it. Now, one thing that the build tester allows you to do this year, it actually allows you to go to see what your build will be at the actual 99. If you put it to 99 last year, it would just be what it was gonna be at 95. This year is gonna give you those plus four to every attribute at 99. So you can actually see if you're gonna reach certain thresholds for certain badges, which is what's gonna make this build very, very interesting. All right, so for the finishing badge setup for this build, I have Hall of Fame Posterizer, Hall of Fame Slithery Finisher. Slithery Finisher, in my opinion, has always been my favorite finishing badge in the game since it's even been brought into the game. It's back again, and it's still good. It's gonna be making your dunk frequency a lot higher and get you the best animation possible every single time. Some people might think you're gonna get less contact dunks, some people, I, I mean, I heard a lot of people was getting a lot of content done with Hall of Fame Posterizer. As soon as I got just Silver Slithery Finisher with Hall of Fame Posterizer, I just started getting a crazy amount of content dunks. So I just want y'all to know that Posterizer is literally strictly to help you get content dunks, not really much else to say. It was in the game, they took it out, brought it back, pretty much split up Contact Finisher into multiple different badges. Fearless Finisher is kind of like the layup part of Contact Finisher with a little bit of Relentless Finisher in it. And I have that at Silver. And then we got highlight film. I actually didn't mean to do highlight film. I meant to do heat seeker. Heat seeker is the one you want to do. Highlight film is going to help your teammates. But I, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. I don't really care about my teammates. I, I just want to help myself get takeover as fast as possible so I can be able to get dual takeover so I can get both of my takeovers like I just went over. That combo is just too overpowered. It's that simple. Then when it comes to giant slayer, I ended up having that at gold. I wanted to get it to hall of fame, but we just going to have to settle for gold. And yeah, at gold, you're gonna be able to cancel out that rim protector, which is very, very important in this game. Some people think that that badge is only to cancel out the height advantage. That's not what I use it for. It literally decreases the ability of you getting blocked. So, and when it comes to rim protector, it's gonna be increasing your ability to get blocked. And it's gonna actually be unlocking animations, same thing as Giant Slayer. So yeah, Giant Slayer is a perfect counter badge for rim protector. All right, next is going to be the best shooting badge setup for this build. Now, for the video, we can only show you with 17 badge grades because it kept glitching out. But I'm going to tell you, word of mouth, what you want to do for 18. Now, when it comes to the first 16, you're going to go Stop and Pop Hall of Fame, Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame, Deep Threes Hall of Fame, Mach Green Machine Hall of Fame. Now, if you was looking at my build, you saw that you couldn't get Deep Threes Hall of Fame. You couldn't get Stop and Pop Hall of Fame on my build. When you reach 99, you're gonna have a 95 three-pointer, a 96 driving dunk, a 88 ball handle. Like, it's gonna be just too, I don't even wanna go too much into detail on that, but just know that you're getting those badges at Hall of Fame now. Now, what those badges do, deep threes is kinda like Ranger Center, but it's not really. Ranger Center helped you on deep twos, on the line threes, and deep threes. This is supposed to only help you on deep threes. Now, when I've been testing it, it pops up on no matter if I'm taking the three, no matter if I'm like just a top, a top of the key, no matter where I'm at, it's gonna be activated. So I don't really know fully how big 
of the deep threes do you how deep do you have to be for it to really be like saying that you're helping you but i know it doesn't help you on d2s like rangers did high zone hunter that's gonna be pretty much help you shoot a lot better in high zones getting more greens stop and pop and green machine these two are probably the best two shooting badges in this game stop and pop if you iso and you shoot it can arguably be the best one Green Machine, in my opinion, is the best one because as soon as you get a green, you're not going to stop greening. Especially in a game like this, if you have a build like mine where you're going to get this 95 three-pointer at Hall of Fame, you're going to be able to reach that 95 three-pointer threshold. It's going to make your build very, very broken. So, yeah, I would say Green Machine is the best one, but Stop Pop gives it a run for your money. After dribble moves and you shoot, it's going to give you a ridiculous boost to your shooting. It's going to be actually ridiculous. It doesn't matter what you're shooting, threes, mid-ranges, it doesn't matter. After dribble moves, if you shoot off dribble moves, it's pretty much like catch and shoot, but for dribble moves. Simple. Then when it comes to the 17th badge upgrade, we put on Hot Shot. Hot Shot is actually another very overpowered bag. It's going to be helping you get your takeover as fast as possible. This is how people are going to be able to get double takeover faster before they can actually get that takeover boost badge. Now, when it comes to the 18th badge upgrade, I would put Hot Shot to Silver or I would go Rhythm Shooter at Bronze. Rhythm Shooter is pretty much a badge that's going to help you shoot off of stuff like Ankle Breakers and stuff like that. So, yeah, those are the two badges or pretty much the best shooting badge upgrade or the best shooting bass setup for this build. And then when it comes to the best playmaking bass setup for this build. So for the best playmaking bass setup for this build, you can go downhill, but I ended up going bail out. That's gonna help you get better out of a lot of situations, whether you're getting double team or in a bad animation, you can pass that joint. Now, when it comes to these bailout passes this year, they don't really catch it as much, but if you go higher and higher, it makes the pass a lot more accurate and it makes them not foam the ball nearly as bad or as much. So yeah, that's very important in a, in a lot of ways. Now, when it comes to the three most important badges for any playmaking bad setup, Quick First Step, Handles for Days, and Unpluckable. I'm gonna tell you this right now. The difference between Bronze to Silver to Gold to Hall of Fame Quick First Step like you gotta like you gotta just see it to believe it it's, it's one of those things that you gotta see it to believe it handles for days and unpluckable are much much needed badges for this game unpluckable so that you don't get ripped just you just don't want to get ripped as much as possible you don't want people just coming up to you ripping you every single time you're dribbling very easily done if you don't have that badge i don't know what it is maybe a lot of people have they still rating up i don't know what it is then when it comes to handles for days this is going to be canceling out the stamina issue in this game if you don't have that badge Stamina issue is at an all-time high in this game. And we got Stop and Go at Hall of Fame to be able to do quick stops as fast as possible. And it's going to help you do the speed glitch. People said the speed glitch is not in this game. But like I said, the difference between these quick first steps is going to show you that that speed glitch is definitely in the game. It's just a lot more realistic. Then when it comes to Ankle Breaker, we got that at gold. That's going to help us take ankles as much as possible. We don't get it to Hall of Fame, sadly, but that's because we just don't reach a certain threshold for our ball handle. So, yeah, we're going to just go ahead and go with Ankle Breaker on gold. And that's going to be pretty much the best playmaking bad setup for this build. And all right, last but not least, is going to be the best defensive rebounding bad setup for this build. Now, when it came to this build, I tried to make sure I had all the badges that was important to me. There was really only three badges that was important to me clamps intimidator and interceptor but as soon as i started testing out interceptor high steals and low steals you're gonna get a lot more steals on a build with a more steal rating but i legit average two steals a game with a 25 steal so it's like you don't really need that i'm not gonna lie to you so yeah i'm a, i'm gonna just tell you right now first two badges you want to put on is clamps and intimidator intimidator is a little bit iffy again on this game current gen 21 it was a little iffy it's like iffy a little bit again the paint defense is a little bit iffy on this game on current gen the paint defense wasn't a big problem but on this game i feel like it might be an issue i'm not gonna lie but yeah intimidator definitely goes to gold because that's gonna help you get the best shot as possible it's a badge you definitely want to have as high as possible on this game so yeah, I'm just gonna say that right now. When it comes to clamps, that's gonna help you play ISO. Everybody wants to ISO in this game. I've seen a couple people try to do screens and stuff like that. So we do have Hall of Fame pick dodger, but yeah, it's gonna help you pretty much stop people from trying to blow by you. Pretty much if you're trying to play people in the half court, full court, anything ISO, it even can help you play screens. It's gonna be pretty much the best defensive badge in the game for guards. Then when it comes to badges like rim protector and rebound chaser and chase down artists rim protect is going to be enhancing chase down artists a lot you can actually get that to hall of fame on this build 
if you didn't notice there is an extra level to it so yeah but yeah rim protector very very overpowered badge you, it's gonna help you get a lot more blocks. It's gonna help you get more block animations. And it's also at the park, it also gives your teammates a boost if you do hard fouls, which is actually interesting. So yeah, but yeah, Rim Protector is gonna be a badge that also enhances badges like Intimidator and Chase Down Artist also. So yeah, I wanna say that. But Chase Down Artist, we had that on to be able to get Chase Down Blocks just at all. If you don't have it on, you're not gonna be able to add animations. So yeah, putting it to bronze is just gonna literally unlock an entire category of block animations. So that's very important. Then we got Rebound Chaser. You don't necessarily need that to get boards. I, have a, I haven't earned that yet because I don't have max badges on defense. But yeah, Rebound Chaser, I'm, I do plan on putting that on and that's gonna help me get even more rebounds. But yeah, I already snagged on my build. You saw what my rebound was. I have an 80 and a 60. My 80 rebound snags legitimately snags on bills that have 95 plus so yeah i'm gonna just tell you that right now as soon as i get that to bronze it's gonna make a big difference i don't even have anyone anything yet so yeah but yeah that's gonna be pretty much the best defensive bad setup for this build but yeah that's going to be the best build and my build for nba 2k21 next year in my opinion this is by far the best build in the game i haven't seen a build that was made anything close to this when it gets this many bag of grades and it has this little of holes now, my opinion, I don't really have no holes for my playstyle. It might be holes for your playstyle. It works for me perfectly. Perfectly. You know what I'm saying? In every shape or form, way possible. But yeah, I showed you guys everything in this video. The position, the height, weight, wingspan, which is pretty much the new pie charts, the attributes, the takeover, all the way down to the best bad setups for this build. So yeah, man, for that alone, go ahead, leave a like on this video if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. We do this every single day. I got some other builds that I found trying to make this build. So if you guys want me to show you some of the rarest builds in the game, just go ahead, spam that like button. I know y'all boys love when I drop these build videos, so it's only right. But yeah, man, like I said, leave a like, subscribe. But yeah, man, it's your boy, Fish, man. And I'm out to it, man. Head in the clouds, walk through the city, they taking you out. Bitches be talking, they running, they mouth. A bag in the back and a stick in the couch. You know what it's about. Uh, Had to cope with all the pain, so I'm about to die, man. Uh, they say he going too fast. Alright, before we go too far into this video, I want to make sure to go over this. Now, we were at 4.2%. We're all the way up to 9.7%. But still... 90% of y'all that are watching my videos or even subscribed. I know y'all mess with the videos. We finna be going so crazy, so you might as well hit that sub button. It's that simple.